Welcome back to the Nerdyverse, I'm Cheng, and here we are for episode 3 of The Acolyte. Um, yeah, turns out Danny still isn't back. Uh, this week he is actually away at Download Festival, I think, so unfortunately he is going to be away for the entire week, so yeah, I'm pretty sure next week he should be back for episode 4 though. Um, but yeah, this series has surprised me. I, I've It's kind of weird because I've seen it get very mixed reviews. Like I can see some of the criticisms for the show. I'm kind of on the fence still. There are like little sort of nitpicks here and there that are a bit frustrating. But a part of me is like maybe there's a reason for it. Like a lot of the sort of poor decisions of the Jedi. I'm like... Is this because the Jedi are kind of at their height at the moment? They're very sort of arrogant. They're very full of themselves. Like, they're the dominant power. So if they got, like, comfortable at the top and, you know, the Sith haven't been around for a while. So, you know, maybe maybe they have got, like, too overconfident and very arrogant. And that's probably the reason why they seem, like, quite weak and making a lot of poor decisions. But, yeah, uh, last episode we did find out that, you know, all of my theories were wrong. They were, in fact, just two separate people, two twin sisters. And, yeah, they both were alive. But it seems that they went through some sort of traumatic event as a child, which were related to the four Jedi who were posted on uh, the planet with them. I'm not sure if they did something, like they killed the parents or if they if the jedi were the ones who started the fire but yeah it seems the jedi did something and they seem to regret it or are trying to bury it so i'm very curious what it is i think we ended last episode um introducing the wookiee jedi character which is pretty cool i think this is our first time seeing like a wookiee jedi right in fact no that's a lie i think we did see one youngling in the clone war series right um But yeah, I think this will be the first live-action, fully-grown Wookiee Jedi that we've seen, um, I think, since, like, Legend stuff. So I'm very excited to see this. But yeah, I'm hopefully... I am hoping this episode we get to find out more about this backstory of the twins and what actually happened to them in the childhood. Like, was it actually Mei who, like, set fire and killed the parents, or was it all the Jedi? I guess we shall see. Shall we jump in? It's kind of interesting how Sol keeps telling um, her to sort of forget about it. Ooh, we are getting the flashbacks, it looks like. I'm curious if maybe Sol is not doing that because of the Jedi way, or or maybe if it's because he's trying to cover it up and hoping she doesn't find out what actually happened. I'm guessing he was the one who was, like, directly responsible, most likely. Right. What happened? Like... Could the parents have been bad people? Could they be associated with bad people? And the Jedi thought that they were taking out, like, a group of cultists or Sith or dark side criminals. God knows. Okay, so she does seem to have some uh, psychopath tendencies. Ascension. Is this some sort of tradition or something? Or is this some sort of culty sort of thing? I'm still very skeptical on their background. I think there might be more to them, maybe. It's got to be a right reason why the Jedi attacked them. Could it be something to do with who their mother is or their parents? Sorry, I've seen like a woman on the poster, so I'm assuming that's their mother. I'm just curious what makes her special. Oh, is that Zabrak? Mother Coral. Okay, so it does seem very cultish. What is this? Oh, there's Sol. 
Right, okay, so there's definitely well, more going on. What is with this mother and stuff? It reminds me of the witches of Dathomir, like... Could they be witches or something, maybe? Hmm, maybe not. It looks like a normal, sort of... Civilization here. Spice cream? <laughs> Isn't spice like drugs? <laughs> After the ascension ceremony. Let them have some spice creams. Mama! Okay, so that's their mum then. Oh, my sweet girls must have sweet treats. Don't you think What's that so? marking on her head? Doesn't uh May have one like on the side of her head when she's older? What is this mother stuff? It sounds very cultish or weird. Or is this just part of their culture? Oh wait, no. I heard something about them having two mothers. Like, is it just a case of them actually being her two mothers? I'm assuming it's actually just that. <laughs> Maybe I was just completely wrong. <laughs> I've always deferred to you when raising the twins. But you're too lenient. I'm guessing she's not a Jedi, so what is this? Are they just Some call it a, a group of force users? Is this why the Jedi is going to take them down? Are they just like a random civilization who uses the Force but are not Jedi? Are they going to mistake them for like Sith or maybe the Jedi believe only the Jedi should wield the Force or something? Are they all women as well? Is this some sort of false witch sort of thing, maybe? Power of two. And tonight, at the ceremony, you will experience the power of many. It is interesting how they're always talking about the two. Like, it's not connected to the Sith code, is it? I don't think so. Okay, so they are force witches. Interesting. I don't know if I want to be a witch. Of so there are more sort of force witches than just the Dathomir witches. Oh, this has just gone to another level of intrigue for me now. I love the concept of force witches. One of my characters on uh, Star Wars was kind of themed after Force Witches. Tell her you love her. I love Is there going to be a darker side to these witches then? Or is it just the Jedi not allowing other sort of it is about Force cultures? The power of many. So Usha seemed very sort of dependent on wanting to sort of leave and experience more. While well, May seems to be current, completely sort of taken in by it all. No. <laughs> this is sick. <laughs> I wonder if the magic's gonna look different, or is it actually gonna be kind of very similar to the Daphomir magic? Damn, 
Those robes look cool. Tonight we enact a ceremony we have not performed. Right, what does this ascension... Ooh, a Twi'lek. Yeah, I wonder what this ascension ritual actually does. Okay, maybe they are a bit more questionable. <laughs> the gift of life. <laughs> who's that one witch who's just like manically laughing like an actual psychopath? <laughs> yeah, they give me total bad vibes. <laughs> oh, what is going on with these witches? Casual Nazgul in the background. Come. Claim your destiny. Power of one. The power of two. The power of many. The power of one. The power of two. The power of Oh shit, what the hell is that? What the hell? Meho Anasea, do you vow upon my death to protect the secrets of our coven and continue our legacy? I do. She's giving up her life. She like infusing her life force into her or something. No, oh, maybe not. I'm guessing it's just like infusing a part of their witchly power into them. Verosha. Oh, okay, so I'm guessing Oshi is just a shortened version of her name. God, what is gonna happen here? Put down your weapons. No violence. Okay, so they seem somewhat peaceful at least. I am Master Indara, and these are my colleagues. Soul, Kalnaka, and my Okay, so only Torbin was the Padawan. Mother of this coven. These women are under my protection. You're trespassing. Forgive our intrusion. We thought this planet was uninhabited. The all-knowing Jedi were ignorant of their surroundings. Do you really want to taunt them? I find that hard to believe. We are concerned that you are training children. What does your name mean? Osha. Osha. Osha, sorry. My name is... Osha. May we meet you soon? Oh god, they're already probing her mind. Was up there this morning. You're spying on us. They want to take our children. The Jedi do not take children. Hold your tongue or I cut it out for you. No, for God's sake, Saul, what are you doing? They don't take children. So, were things different back then? Oh shit. What the hell is going on? God's sake, Osha. Mother Anasea, you cannot deny that Jedi have the right to test potential Padawan. Forgive me, Master Indara. We 
appreciate your cooperation. Well, this ain't gonna go well, is it? <sighs> so basically all of this was OSHA's fault then. <laughs> It's interesting that she's actually kind of accepting for it. Oh god, what the hell happened? I actually really like the appearance of that Zabrak like mother. She looks fucking cool. I don't know what they will ask you. But whatever's in your heart, you must say the opposite. If we pass, they take us away. I never see Mama again. You were a very powerful girl. How were they created then? Were they created through the force? Through like force alchemy or something? Or did they like murder the father or something? Like the season. They're not even going to be able to lie, because the Jedi can literally just read their minds, right? Like, they're not going to have the power or knowledge on how to suppress their sort of emotions or block the Jedi out. This test, you must divine what images appear on the testing screen. Oh, is this going to be the same test that Anakin took from, like, Mace Windu and stuff? A spaceship. Is she lying or is she just not actually attuned to the force as much as her sister? Correct. That was an okay, so she is lying. Did someone tell you to clear this test? Your family doesn't want to be separated from you. What do you want? The Jedi saw how special I was. And I conceded you, Osha. <sighs> it's it's kinda of awkward and difficult because like it doesn't seem anyone's in the wrong right now, but it's gonna go down and the question is how, like are they just not gonna let Osha go? Is this what's going to cause May to actually set fire to everything? Like, is May actually going to do that, or was that all a lie? Mama, she promised she would fail, and she broke her promise. I told the truth. It was the right thing to do. My family thinks we're so simple, Osha. I don't want to show a May. I want to see the galaxy. I don't want to be away. What's wrong with you? God. Go and take a walk, me. Take a walk with Monokoro. Now! Mama! What's wrong with you? Mama! She does seem to have a lot of anger and darkness in her already. So, is she gonna lash out? Is she gonna cause all of this? Or was it a lie? I'm guessing they're going to refuse to let Osha go, and that's going to cause the Jedi to attack to take her. And that's going to be what the regret is. Them cutting down all the witches. It's surprising that she's very willing and open to letting her go. Or is she going to actually go out and do something to try and stop it?
So yeah, so far she just seems very supportive. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, she is gonna start the fire then. Well, I guess all sympathy for May as a character is straight in the shitter. Here I was thinking that she was actually like an interesting character and she was being like, you know, framed for this, but nope, she is just a little psycho bitch. <laughs> I'm guessing because of the fire the Jedi are gonna attack, aren't they? They're probably gonna think the witches were behind the fire. And I'm guessing the witches are probably going to think the Jedi are behind the fire. What the fuck just happened there? Is it the Jedi breaking in with the Force? What the hell just happened? Just like uh, before on the snow planet. So was it the Jedi who actually took them all out, or was it the explosion? Like, what the hell happened? Are there lightsaber burns on the body? I can't see. What the hell happened? I thought we would find out what happened, but we kind of haven't, really. <laughs> like, was this May, like, May's fire causing some sort of chain reaction which caused the place to blow up? Or was this the Jedi storming the place and killing everyone? I'm guessing it was the Jedi attacking people. That'd be why Torbin regretted it. Okay, so that bit was true. Destroyed everything. We killed Mimi. Me. Is is this is this bit mis like withholding information though? Like, did they actually storm the place, and then a battle broke out? I don't think it was the fire or an explosion which killed all the witches. It's got to be the Jedi who did it. How the hell did May survive then? Right, there we go. Episode 3. What did you guys think of the episode? I found it... I'm glad that we finally got the backstory and managed to see everything. Well, nearly everything of what happened. Um... I thought it was really interesting how her family was actually, like, a coven of Force witches. Um, I've always found, like, the sort of Force witch culture very interesting in Star Wars. Um, I really love, like, the Daphomir witches and stuff. So I'm actually very excited to see, like, a different culture of these witches. Um, it's... <sighs> I'm so curious, like, what actually happened at the end there, because... We saw the fire started by May, so all of that was true. I kind of lost all sympathy for May, which is kind of a bit depressing. Like, 
I was hoping she'd be a really complex and interesting character where, you know, what she was actually doing was justified. But it does seem like she did start the fire. So, you know, this was a lot of her fault. I'm guessing she did witness the Jedi. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it was the Jedi who actually killed all the witches. They probably stormed the place to, tr um, to try and, like, save May. And the witches probably wouldn't have tried to let them take her. So there probably was a fight and the Jedi probably ended up killing them all. I'm guessing May probably witnessed it. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm super curious to see like what direction this is going to go. Who Who is this like master um, that sort of started training May? Like, I don't think it's going to be, uh, what's it, Plagueis, but... Who knows? Who knows? I'm 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 excited to find out what happens. It was also very interesting to see how like one of the mothers was actually very understanding and seemed to be sort of very open and caring for Osha, and you know she kind of looked out for her and wanted the best for her, while the other one seemed a lot more sort of angry and sort of you know Osha is part of this coven. She needs to like be what we want her to be and you know it doesn't matter what she wants she's you know gonna become a witch um i didn't expect the other mother to be so so nice about it so that kind of surprised me i'm not sure if that was just a show i don't think it was i thought i think it was genuine but i thought that was quite an interesting uh, turn of character i didn't expect that um but yeah i'm very excited to see what direction this goes next um I'm curious how May is going to be able to kill the Wookiee Jedi. Was it like, I can't remember what the name is. It's like Kelnaka or something. Um, I feel like every Jedi she's fought so far, she's she's only managed to win those fights by sort of playing dirty. Like the first one, who I didn't even realize until recently, was Trinity from Matrix. Um yeah, so with that one, she only won the fight because she like literally used the hostage and took advantage of that situation. So with Torbin, she convinced him, like, you know, to sort of give in to his guilt and commit suicide. And then when she tried to fight Sol, like, she just got her ass, like, completely kicked. So I'm curious how she's going to be able to fight the Wookiee Jedi. I, I, I feel like she's probably not going to stand a chance, like... Unless he's got some sort of guilt with all this as well, but I kind of doubt it. He seemed very sort of aggressive from what we saw uh, of the brief scene at the end of last episode. But yeah, I'm very excited to find out what happens in the next episode. What did you guys think of this episode? Let us know in the comments and I'll see you next week. Cheers guys, bye.